We're back down trackside with our very, this very special little girl, and I tell you, she has a very special story, and um, it, it's very proud of our Anderson Speedway family that, that you spent the time with us, Teresa, and you got Diamond here, and practicing and rehearsing, and now you're on. Here we go. So the field comes to life here at Anderson Speedway. And our special Grand Marshal, Teresa, heads out on the back of the golf cart as the field now comes alive. As we get ready to come, 125 laps of green flag racing in the Anderson 125. Remember, once again, 125 laps, green flag racing. It will be the double up. Great Deals Savings Magazine. Action Entertainment for the 51st time presents the ARCA CRA Super Series Late Models. The Anderson 125. customer to get around. We see the 65 spin out of turn number two and the yellow flag will be out. As we have 22 laps complete here in the Anderson 125 as we get ready to come back, green flag racing. Kenny Tweedy ready to lead him back to green flag racing with Johnny Van Dorn ready to go as they come back to green. So Rick Turner coming in contact with Steve Doerr down in the corner, and you could, those of you race fans in turn number one, certainly got a bird's eye view of uh, the action down in the corner. Seven of uh, Jason Deach. One more lap to go. Kenny Tweedy to bring him back to green flag racing. Anderson 125. Dave 
name of that call. Down into the grass. The lucky dog on this particular incident. Now within 13 laps of the lead. So Kenny Tweedy brings it back to Green Flag Racing. So things unfolding down the back straightaway and Johnny uh, Van Dorn electing to hang on the bottom with Kenny Twitty as we come back replay races. flag for the 42 of Dennis Prudy. We'll see as we come back with more green flag racing in the Anderson 125. Oh, Johnny Van Doren with a slide down through the grass. And the yellow flag back up. Johnny Van Dorn getting loose down the back straightaway. I'm not sure if he got into somebody or what, but uh, so we'll see um, what the thinking is here. T.J. Reed, of course, the 2010 All-American 400 champion. So both in their own rights, know their way around the speedway, and we'll see what happens here as they hang together for an exciting restart. Jay Reed with the lead off the restart. Hey, Kenny Quitty losing some more ground to Eddie Van Meter this time. As Van Meter able to get around Quitty all the races as we were uh, watching that battle. T.J. Fisher and Peter Consolino locking horns down the main straightaway. So another car high into the air that time. Kenzie Reston trying to get around Mason Mingus on the bottom. See if Scott Hans can move up a little bit, follow maybe uh, TJ Reed on this restart. As Scott Hans now right behind TJ Reed, we'll see if that uh, plays a little part here on the restart. As we come back, green flag racing. Picking up a position anyhow. Scott 
about hands picking up a position, getting around to Eddie Van Meter on the restart. Daniel Webster just losing control of his car down the back straightaway and uh, looping it right across the back stretch and um, in the less favorable of the two rows. So we'll see how this one unfolds. Back to green flag racing in the Anderson 125. Things begin to heat up a little bit as we head toward the final laps. Johnny Jenkins, a series rookie from Lancaster, Ohio, has something break in his car. You can see the um, PJ Reed and Bubba Power to lead us back to green in the Anderson 125. Next time now. And the white flag flies for DJ Reed. And the winner of the Anderson 125, DJ Reed. Bubba Pollard finishes second, Scott Hans third, Eddie Van Meter fourth, Mason Mingus fifth. Make that game 25th, Daniel Weston is second winner and finish 27th, Mason Mingus eighth, Jason Beach ninth, and Nate Carell rounds out the top ten.